Their policy center has collaborated with Global Nature Fund Germany to implement the project in the Western Ghats of India in the villages of Dolvi, Karao, Zamri, Kodit and Dandeli, focusing on the community-based afforestation to enhance the local biodiversity and restore the degraded forest as well as develop sustainable livelihood of communities like Katkari, Dongar Kodi, Mahadev Kodi, Thakur, Maratha, Agri Kodi and Dhangar. The project aims to develop the local communities and to boost sustainable livelihood by generating employment and reducing migration. The project is expected to restore approximate 70 hectares of the forest land and benefit all the five villages, making them 100% self-sufficient and empowering the women and youth. Watershed development and promoting renewable energy is also one of the aspects of the project. This is a model project which exhibits public-private partnership with people's participation. All right, so may I request you to please pull up the PPT for telepolicy as well. And I invite uh, Dr. Venita Apteji to make a short presentation explaining your perspective. Over to you. Thanks, Rahul, for this um, short introduction and a very nice introduction. I'm Dr. Vinita Aptik, founder and director of Peer Policy Center. Peer means Earth in French, and we stand for technology, education, research, and rehabilitation for the environment. I'm very much thankful for uh, giving me five minutes to present our community uh, livelihood project uh, in front of all civil society partners and G20, on G20 platform. So we are in uh, watershed development, forest development, environment education, and many other projects which are related to climate change and net zero, not zero targets. So uh, I have only four slides because I know there are only two minutes for me. Uh, so next please. So this is the overview which you have already seen in the uh, film. Uh, because that film is all uh, is a very comprehensive and self explanatory So we have adopted six to seven villages, six seven six villages in Maharashtra and one village at uh, uh, Karnataka for uh, uh, livelihood and uh, uh, distributing commercial plants for the community development. And we have a lot of good community members over there. We have developed seven uh, small uh, self-help groups for the women. Next. So these are our uh, villages. We uh, you already know the names is Dandeli, Kara, uh, Tolvi, where we have already developed the forest. Uh, Zamani, we have developed one tribal museum near Kodi. It is all villages are very uh, in a very small pockets of Maharashtra, and we are proud that me and my young team, especially my young team, is very much uh, connected with the, that community. Next. These are only the uh, photographs we could say you, but the expected outcome which we have already uh, given the, uh, uh, whatever the targets we have given from the collaborators and the partners, we have achieved with this. These are our expected outcomes that four uh, central groups we have developed right from the scratch board and uh, right from the training and module session. Then uh, the tribal museum is in uh, pipeline and it will complete in the next two months. Uh, total 70 hectares of forest land will be restored by the end of project of uh, this uh, project but we have already uh, uh, developed more than 50 hectares of land, uh, a barren land into green land. And I think uh, the, uh, this project duration is for three years 
and the whole uh, self, uh, I mean, SDG has addressed at 13, 15, and 17. So, uh, we are trying to green as much as barren land, uh, not only with this project, but the others also. So, thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for your patience and listening to me.